Hello beautiful people, it's Wurola Olaleko here and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? How have you been? It's been a while. Consistency has not been on my side, but I'm back and I'm sorry for inconsistency. In this video, I'll be sharing with you things I learned on how to deal with laziness, how to get things done even when you feel unproductive or unmotivated. You know when you just have so many things to do and it's just overwhelming and you don't even know where to start. You don't know how to go about with it and it's just everywhere and I'm here for you. First off, if you've not watched my first video where I shared how to get productive at home, go and watch it first before coming to this one because some things I mentioned there would be really, 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 really helpful. So do that and then come back to this video. And if you watched that video, mm -hmm, let's get it going. Most times when you are over overwhelmed with the task you have, it's probably because you have a cumbersome to-do list, you have so many things to do. So one thing I really like to do is to write down things that are very important, things that I need to get done urgently. So the to-do list is not cumbersome and overwhelming for that day or for that period. And then remind yourself of why you need to do that thing you want to do. So when I write on my to-do list, if there, needs, there needs to be a reason why do I want to do that task. Is it important? Is it relevant to my future? Is it relevant to what I want to do? Is it relevant for my plan? Or is it just a an unnecessary plan that I just want to overwork myself with? So once you are deliberate about what you want to do and give a reason or reasons why you want to do them, your to-do list uh, is it has minimized. When you're overwhelmed with the things you have to do, your brain tends to like slow things down and you just feel so lazy. So one thing I like to do is to take a break, slow things down, slow the pace, meditate, breathe in, breathe out. It helps really. It helps, trust me. The thing I really, that really helped is to value your quiet time with God. There are many times we are lost in the chaos, we are lost in so many activities. And we we don't realize we are putting our focus or our, or our energy on things that don't really matter, things that won't really profit us, things that won't make... We, we, you just find out you are working but there's no progress, there's no growth. But when you value your quiet time with God daily, you allow the Spirit of God lead you into deliberate li living and purposeful living. So you are purposeful about what you do each day and you are not just doing anything out of, I just want to be busy, I just want to work, I just don't want to be lazy. Just get quiet. Set out time to get quiet with God. If you can get your paper and biro, hear from God, speak to God, let him talk to you and it helps you build a relationship with God so you can hear God better in your day-to-day -day activities. Another thing I like to do is to remind myself the consequences of laziness and procrastination. I think we're in the same shoes, right? I want to do this and I'm like, um, I'll do it, but I'll do it in 30 minutes time. I'll do it in some minutes time and you keep procrastinating. What I like to do, there's this part, there's this scripture that says a little sleep, a little slumber, and so shall your poverty, hey, and so shall poverty pounce on you or something. It's, and I'm like, no, I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be poor. So a little sleep, a little slumber, get things done, get relevant things done. Don't keep procrastinating. So just get scriptures like that that would encourage you. Or write down affirmations that would encourage you when you are feeling unproductive or unmotivated. Just get scriptures or affirmations that will motivate you. Another thing I love to do is to start with what you love. There are times you have some things to do that you just have to do them. But start with the things you enjoy doing. Things that would get you off your feet and not just walking around procrastinating. Just start with what you enjoy doing most. Then you can move on to other tasks you have. As long as you have been, you've gotten the motivation or you've gotten the drive to do that thing you love, then you have you you apply that same motivation to do other things. To try out new hobbies. A friend once said, when you find yourself lazing around or you just can't get yourself to do something, probably you are bored with the task and routine you find yourself doing over and over again. So try out new hobbies. Add spice to your day. Add spice to the things you are doing. Learn a skill. Do something fun. Do something that would get you working. That would not keep you lazing around. Ask for help when you need it. Get an accountability partner. Get someone to remind you to get off that couch and walk. Get someone you can be accountable to that you can both help each other. You know, iron sharpens iron. 
just get an accountability partner it helps and also give yourself permission to fail there are times you don't have everything figured out together but if you keep feeling guilty or crucify yourself for not getting that one thing done that guilt would lead to serious unmotivation if there's anything like that to not do other things so get just leave let the past be in the past make today a better day do more today just improve on yourself today just keep trying just keep working and don't be lazy don't be lazy laziness is my goal don't be lazy it's not going down beyond what you say. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like now. How about like this video, share with your friends, everyone you know, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and click on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Bye guys, and I'll see you in my next video.